What's going on everybody? My name is John Hammond. Welcome back from the YouTube video. We're looking at Boot to Root CTF 2019. This is the second challenge in the cryptography category. It's called Scatter Me. I hate doing that intro. I have to do it every time. I don't have to, but I like to. I don't because I said I hate it. All right, this is Scatter. It's a Google Drive file again, which we can just download. Uh, it's taking a little bit of time, so um, I'll open it and then we'll just copy the information out of it and throw it in Sublime Text or whatever. Um, the prompt here that I want, to direct, I want to bring your attention to says, can you retrieve the passcode from this file? And the submit flag is actually boot to root and then the passcode in the curly braces. So that is important to note. So let's go ahead and run through it. I've got a file here. Let's just call it scatter.txt. Paste it all in. And if we actually look at this, it looks like nonsense, right? We've got uh, colons and semicolons and numbers and it looks like the max value it goes to is about 75. I see a lot of 25s but and then occasional jumps to 75 although there doesn't seem to be anything in between. Um, looks like the pattern is number, number, number. So separated by the colons and then a semicolon this, that's a float, right? You can kind of can still consider that 1.25 a number, 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 colon. Okay, so it looks like they're in th a sets of three. Yeah, because each colon is a three. Each semicolon is a three, and a colon is a separator. So I started this for a long time, and I started to think about, well, looks like there's a range of numbers, but it's not like any base because there's nothing in between. There's, this isn't ASCII. Uh, and I was like, man, what what is this? But I know they're three pairs or sets of three and that's weird and i know the challenge is called challenge is called scatter so i had this epiphany oh that's got to be a scatter plot right maybe i've seen that in the ctf before maybe it's a 3d scatter plot because there are three coordinates so what i actually did is i opened up scatter.txt and uh actually I'll, I'll show you this later because first we need to find something that would allow us to go ahead and actually work with the scatter plot display it so i try to google let's go to google.com let's make an official scatter plot 3d online or something like that um i think i ended up finding plotly and that was the one that worked for me scatter plot did i type 2d 3d scatter plot plotly that one plotly I don't know why F11 isn't working. <laughs> like I want to get back to my scatter plot online, and I probably did like 3D scatter plot online. This this took a little bit of itself, right? Online graph maker, polychart this thing. So it allowed me to create a scatter plot from this. This is a 2D one, 3D scatter plot. Okay. 3D scatter plot. Type of scatter plot that shows the relationship. This looks right. And so I went to edit chart and I think I needed to like create an account. I think I actually did. No, no. Oh, sweet. No. Yeah. I need to create an account, which is stupid and annoying. Um, so let's just create something garbage. Role student company organization email. So a at a dot com. Anything, anything. Fingers crossed it lets me log in. Fingers crossed that actually happens. Oh, sweet. It does it. <laughs> All right, cool. Yes, so let's make a copy of it, and now we can work with that. Great. So we can edit stuff. So there are a lot. there's a lot here, right? And you could go through it and enter it all one at a time manually, but that's stupid. And I know a lot of people, I think, went through it and did it, and they groaned at me when I kind of gave them a pointer that, like, don't do that. That's stupid. So what you can do is actually convert your scatter.txt data and say that every colon is actually a new line. So now we've got them all on separate lines and every, sem I'm sorry, every semicolon is a new line and now every colon is a tab. So that means I'm moving over to the next, next column. So now we've got all the values and we can copy that. And if we paste it in, let me paste it in please. Okay, website, make me look pretty bad. <laughs> Why am I not allowed to edit this anymore? Oh, no, I am. There it is. Okay. So, that's not... Oh, that is just about right. Uh, 
it. Thought it was right. When I had worked with this originally, I hadn't actually removed everything from that demo. So let's go ahead and keep that in there. If I refresh the page and then I go back to the demo, maybe it'll keep it all in here. If I just paste this now, oh geez, make a copy, do the thing. Now I paste it all in. There we go. Because I kept that spiral up there, I was able to see it a little bit better. And I stared at this for a while and I tried to figure out what is that actually trying to say or what is it actually trying to tell me. Um, let's zoom in, see if it makes this bigger for you. Cool. So uh, 300728, and I span this around. I thought it was like blue for a little bit or some weird, weird information. So that, I'm assuming, is the passcode, right? 300728. We can go ahead and try it. We can take a look. Let's move into scatter me. Boot to root. Three seven zero zero two eight. That's what it is, right? Two eight. Yep. Submit. No, I'm wrong. Three seven z three zero zero seven two eight. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. You guys were probably yelling at your computer screen. Tell me, John, you're an idiot. All right. We got it. That was that. That's it. Scatter challenge. Uh, interesting, because you wouldn't immediately think, what is that? Scatter me? You look at all this text, you'd be like, that's some kind of something, but I don't know what it would be. Challenge title is a hint. Challenge prompt is a hint. Anything they give you is there for a reason, usually. So, alrighty. Hey, I hope you guys like this video. I hope that was kind of neat. I hope that was kind of cool. I hope you learned something. I hope you put this tool in your back pocket. And, uh... If you like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord server. There is a link in the description. It's an awesome community, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Um, that's it. That's all I'm going to talk. That's all I'm going to say this time. I'm done. I'm done. Stop recording. <laughs>